give him a round of applause. Thank you, Mr. General Evaluator. It's a privilege for me to evaluate Frank Shea because they were in the club when I joined, so they were role models for me to improve my speaking ability. The topic that Frank spoke on tonight is not a quixotic topic. It's actually quite serious for those who suffer from headaches, whatever the type. This was a back pocket speech, it was a non-manual speech, but I'm going to suggest that this was a perfect speech for project number seven, which is researcher topic. In the researcher topic speech, you want to have facts. You want to present facts. And Frank did a superb job of presenting facts in this speech. What I selected as your objective for this one was proficiency. As we discussed prior, you said just make, evaluate and see how well you are presenting the information and your comfort level and use of ahs and ums and, and so forth. I'll leave the ahs and ums to the ah counter. <laughs> but you had asked me to pay attention to that. To begin with, you, you provided an excellent introduction for Greg. It really detailed what the speech was going to be about, what your topic was, and why you were giving that speech, which was you were giving it at the Zephyr Hills Club, you received feedback, and you wanted to improve on that by incorporating the feedback in what you were discussing this evening. As you opened, you gave us, since the word of the day was quixotic, you gave us a reference as to where that came from. And it was a good way to just get the audience involved in, in, in paying attention to you. And then you got into the meat of your topic. As I mentioned previously, it was factual. I think that was the highlight for me. You, you mentioned numbers like 45 million people suffer from headaches. 70% are women, 20% are kids. Absenteeism is based on, the absenteeism is uh, facilitated by people with headaches. So people with headaches are typically absent from work, and some of those reasons are that they're stress, alcohol, tobacco related. You gave us plenty of facts. And then you spoke about four specific types of headaches, the tension headache, the sinus headache, the cluster, and the migraine. All very superb uh, organization. You organized your speech uh, in incredibly well. You also incorporated humor throughout the speech. One of the areas of improvement that I would recommend, however, is in your introduction, you told us that you were going to improve on the speech that you'd given at Zephyr Hills by incorporating feedback. And then throughout the speech, you made mention to, well, this was an incorporation from the feedback I got from Zephyr Hills. But as an audience, we weren't at Zephyr Hills, so mm -hmm. we really couldn't tell whether you were incorporating it effectively or not. Mm -hmm. So giving the speech without the references to Zephyr Hills would have been more appropriate for this audience. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, if there was anyone who was at Zephyr Hills, they might have been able to tell you what the differences were. Your body language was outstanding. You do have a tendency to go forward and backwards. But you were engaging the audience. So when you went forward, you were engaging the audience. You had great eye contact all the way across. And that was excellent and outstanding. I really appreciated you sharing with us. And I really look forward to your next speech. Thank you.